Hello, this is High Templar. Welcome to my Total War Warhammer Legendary Crooked Moon campaign for Scarsnick. And we are 41 turns in, and uh, we haven't done much, but uh, it is not uh, an easiest of campaigns. So we do have entire southern uh, grey mountains, and we do have vaults, and we have made some. We are going to the Black Mountains. We are at war with Mutinous uh, Gids from Crooked Moon, which are we at always at war with. We are at war with Estalia, Your man, gods and duke. which I think has no other choice. They like Carcassonne and Tila. They can only go through our territory, and this is disturbing. We'll have to destroy them. And Vampire Counts, which are actually at war with us not. for pretty much no reason, and we want to have a peace with them. Great and powerful war boss. I do have an army here. Do not mock me. That will stop. And this army is very, very weak indeed. I will try to stop. No mortal. No. Manfred army. Because Vlad is weaker and has worse units and all that. So I will try to block him. I actually have some positive income right now. I blocked him successfully, which is awesome. What do we have? We can get him into Assassin, but we got him into Expector. We can go into Misdirection, which is... Yeah, this is Block Army. But Guard Army is also not so bad. We started to go this way. I don't know, um, we will use a lot, this guy a lot in the actual, as an agent. Because we do have lots of capable troops. So, I think I will just level him in this way. And I actually don't think misdirection is worth it, because it's additional movement range modifier, but not chance to increase. Which is not that great. This is good. This is for the entire characters in, in local enemy region. And this is guard targeting my own armies, so I will do that. It can come in handy. Here we have, yeah, and I'm pretty sure the Grimhold can hold. This guy's, this guy only have like skeletons and skeleton spearmen. And I don't think Manfred can even force March come here. However, I have another army here with Helman Gorst. It's a problem with Vampire Counts, really. And this army seems like it is powerful enough to take Karasas Garas. I have a weaker garrison here. I need to recruit a lord here and start recruiting men. I do have already one goblins, the one uh, goblin that was working for us before. And I think he will be the best. 
Oh, we had an, uh, we actually had a quest for it, which I forgot to actually check. So that's my fault. What quest do we have right now? We only have Skull's new brother. Rise or sack three different settlements for Rams Dwarves. We can do that. Yeah, I have rebellion, I know that. Population surplus in Vals. Avalon, Borderlands, Brother Princess War is very good. Experience for all our recruits is good. So we can get some troops here. But that wouldn't be like specially good troops. But they won't be available immediately, so this guy will be able to come in. And he's actually quite powerful, it would seem. So we will get for this guy. I think we will get Hammer of Gork for him. And this chariot. If chariot is used correctly, it can be pretty powerful even for even a goblin one. It is anti infantry after all. So I will recruit those two, which limits my guys a lot. And I will take some nasty skulkers. I do have a money for the next army, so I will do it. It's not like I can upgrade many things here. Yeah, I will be fine here. This guy leveled. He is being used inside and as you can see he is quite a powerful fighter at the moment. Missile resistance, ambusher. Leadership wouldn't be bad, but opportunists would be better, I think, and elusive later on. Because this additional charge bonus of 9, although he has 60 already, so 69 wouldn't be that much of a difference, would it? His leadership is a low side, plus 9. Yeah, let's go for elusive, actually, and then we will think later what to do with this guy. I know you are, I know you are, Skarsnik. So these mountains are pretty much held by dwarves. This is Greenskins, Azak the Slaughterer himself actually. We don't have a war with him and Avaland has a war with Border Princess so they will be busy. I think I'm, uh, it might be in my best interest to go north right now, abandon the, this place. Even if we'll, there will be problems here with public order. Provincial stability is minimal. Yeah, but military presence is 20. Which is pretty crazy. 
it will uh, it will land on minus 11 which is fine I can live with that for a moment with this guy I do need to jump here again and defend from the rebellion again no other choice really which makes Grimhold open to the attack but it will be only one army attacking it and even if they will win I will take it back it will be not an easy fight but I think I can win it I might get additional guy here I can't because I recruited one lord and I needed to hold this place and I will hold this place plus 20 ammunition for green skin bows will be useful will be useful for sure I need to upgrade this at some point but for now I have to defend from the freaking vampires and once I will it will be fine but I do have to defend against them so without further ado at least my friends army yeah um I, I'm just going out to resolve it it's silly that I have such an upper hand here I shouldn't have but those guys are flying and I have lots of archers those has, guys have pretty much no armor they do have few fast units now they as soon as I will kill Gorst it will be over so either way those guys are dead Yeah, I don't care about fightiness at this point of this army, because... Although... I mean, this is 1000, let's go for it. Yeah, as I thought they weren't able to actually attack me this turn. And I will be able to block them again. Those guys are trying to do stuff to me. No, they are just... Tilean army again. Great. Defeat Manfred for battle masters. Yeah, I can do that. Everybody's raiding me, which is just great. Root Marcher, quite obviously. Sorry about that, if you heard that. We will put this guy out of his misery. We will not do that for... Uh, let's just go for leadership at this point. We need to level those goblin bosses fast because... We need Dagobos, lots of Dagobos.
Wait. I can probably go here and recruit. No, I, uh, hey, I have 3000, so I can recruit. I'm willing to fight this one since... Since the auto resolve would do more damage to me than I would like to. Although I probably will do pretty much the same. Yeah. I do not want to get with my fightiness to these guys that much down, so I will go for it. And I do want to get better night sneaking for those guys for even more attack for goblin and night goblin units and charge bonus yeah why not They probably do not really expect that. that will stop. No mortal, no. We will try to block this army once more. I and we did. Not sure how successful that was. Oh, we leveled. In interestingly, we leveled even more, which is almost giving us the full buff. Then we can go for the savages and be really, really good at fighting. I don't like the idea of... No. No. This is a doing not so bad. What can I do with my with Scar Sneak? Can I jump there? I cannot. I can however close them down from both sides. And this is what I will do. I will sit with Scar Sneak here so I can still regenerate. Those guys, yeah, let's just go here. I will not recruit to this army because I will recruit, create another army here. Get a sanguine night goblin war boss. Which I will get rid of soon. But I just want to have any war boss when those guys will come. He will die. But if they attack me, I will attack them from two sides and they will have they will stand no chance. Should I get some regiments of renown to inflict more damage to them? Maybe I can actually take them on. I mean, these are very weak units. But so is my guys. I mean, Night Goblin Fanatics are not exactly the greatest. I do have some trolls though. If I can get here... Broken Task Mob... I could probably inflict a lot of damage on them. Such insolence. 
Broken Task mob would do really, really good against Vargulf or against Manfred, who has 90 armor. I'm the best. And we will recruit few Skulkers. Few. Our income will drop, but we will we should be able to offset it when we will get those armies together. We will create two and a half stack, I guess. After defeating those guys, we should have enough money to actually we actually have enough money to upgrade those things now. I need more growth here. No, I cannot buy this one, I will go under. Ready for bossing. Leader leadership for goblin units. That is actually a very good thing for me. Right now. Very good thing for me right now. And I need to upgrade Karak Norn. It will be 9 more turns to growth of population, but I do need that Goblin Workshop. It, but it will be in time. It will be in time because I still have 6 turns for this, and then I have to do a big lever, which will take, will build another few. So it will be just, just fine. Oh, I have skill points somewhere. Good. Where? He? Oh, great. You have even more skill points. And I'm actually going to give you some of this. And then... Yeah, we will, we will think of something. I will probably need some... Actually, I will probably need some... Propagandists right now, because... There is chaos corruption coming here. I mean, uh, vampire corruption, 20%, yes. I do need this guy to have it. It will be a problem, to say the least. Alright, so having said that, have I moved with everyone? I believe I did. We'll get rid of some of those spears for Skulkers. And I cannot upgrade anything useful now, so yeah, that's it. Let's end this turn and see what will happen. Those guys will be supporting me, which is very, very good indeed. Will you go for Grimhold or will you die? Oh, hello there. Yeah. I will go for that because I cannot kill you. Right. I cannot kill you, can I? So, a peace treaty and you should declare war on somebody else and fighting those guys is pointless because I cannot... My fightiness is just going down. It's a bad deal and I have to concentrate on something else, so to speak. Like the Estallians. Mm. 
Raiding Paravon Faction Destroyed. Well, whatever. Chaos Corruption 3000 Safeguard. Actually, I'm going to have Safeguard. It will be useful for me now. I'm doing some negative, but like I said before, it should not be that much of an issue. So, Force March. You have one piece of artillery, you have one piece of artillery, which is very nice, and you as well have one piece of artillery. Can I support you? It doesn't seem so, does it? I think you two need to meet, and only one of you will be... Yeah, force march guy can go farther. I can get this unit at pretty much any point in time. I will, however, get some of those guys. Actually, all of these guys. Leaving only two goblin spearmen here. This place is still doing plus six, which is perfect. And Skarsnik, how about yes, boss. Stop. Zoga. Come. Not a chance. You have some goblin warriors, Glarach Thrower, level five guy, walls, but not. That much. Oh yeah, that's not where I want to go. I need to go pronto and destroy Estalia because I have a war with them. Yeah, I'm going this way. And that was a mistake. Not likely. I have 10 units. Karagudafar will fall to them, but I don't have many things there, so it would be perfect if they go in here and I kill them. It's a perfect trap, and I'm regenerating. I'm still doing very well when it comes to fightiness. Those guys have terrible fightiness. Oh, for the unit transfer. Yeah, yeah, I should have expected that. We will be fine. They will be fine. I will... One more turn of this negative and I will get to the positive and by killing some Estalians I will basically I will be doing much better and this army will be going after the Estalians as well, leaving me the new stack to defend here and also to fix the provincial instability issue here. Oh, I can actually upgrade. I will upgrade Karakizor because... It's my capital and will give me slightly more money and I will be able to upgrade defenses here. So nobody will take it. I will do as well here the same. Defenses, defenses everywhere because we are playing very dangerous game here. 
And now I only have a war with Estalia and Mutinies war with Mutinies Gits are is very bad for us because they are strength rank six. I'm rank two, but they are six, and it's weakening us in the eyes of the others. You come bearing arms. Yeah, I know. It is weakening us in the are uh, in the eyes of others. It seems like we are open for the attack. We are not, but it seems like it. You need help. Actually, what does to you want? the Arachnor Queen. I am waiting for this one. We are not using this those units yet because we are we cannot afford it, but we will, we will, my friends. Yes, come to us. Declare war on us. Great. Well, we do have defense army just there, which will... It will just have to sit there, I guess. Are they going to take the city? No, they aren't. Great. Failure on salts units. Borderline Artois, that's very bad. But we have growth in vowels. Not big growth, but a bit. Alright, so. It will be a moment before those guys can amount any kind of defense. You are the boss. Move it out. Who needs stabbing? Nice construction cost decrease. Great and powerful war boss. Doing it. Yeah. Suppose. All right, so that is minus 130. We'll have to get rid of the unit, which is not perfect. Minus 14. This is also not the best. That will help a bit. Great and powerful war boss. We will get rid of thief robbers. We have increased income from both of those guys inside. Here, right now. Which looks like give us an advantage, but it doesn't really, not that much. I will get here, my, I will get my own of my guys here. And I will run my agent against them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I will not have enough money to do anything else. This army should be able to defend their own in Karak Asgarak, since you know we have already a, sh a decent garrison there. Actually, I already have an agent here. I already have an agent, one agent here. 
I can block army or assassinate. Mm. Blocking an army would kill this army because they wouldn't be able to run away, would they? No. I hear ya. Yeah, it would be worth if we can do that. And we leveled, which is even better. We finished elusive and precise in here, which uh, makes him very decent fighter, very decent indeed, especially that he has poison right now and magical damage. Let's just see our lords and heroes. This guy has a dragon helm, Skarsnik, which is very very poor actually. Helm of Discord would be better. I mean Dragon Helm does plus 4 armor. Fire resistance not really that great. Helm of Discord however gives a powerful defensive ability. Luckstone is great. Sword of Anti-Heroes is great. And Potion of Strength is great. Sly the Murderer can have a Dragon Helm now, although no, I will need it for another guy. And yes, plus 3 attack and defense would be best for him. I don't want to use any abilities on him because... Yeah, that's... Uh, I wouldn't be able to use it and fear and terror would be working perfectly for this guy. Berserker Sword is also very good for this guy. Yeah, that's it. Night Goblin has a spell shield, Shrieking Blade, which is pretty nice. Downstone, which is nice as well. I need to get him good mount. We have another, we have a new war boss, and I will give him that. And Sword of Anti Heroes again. Yeah, let's give him a Sword of Anti Heroes. Fire resistance, because better than nothing. Idol Carver. Swindler. And that's it, actually. Alright. And we need to give him assassination, more assassinations. We definitely need more assassinations, and I actually need more agents. I can recruit an agent here if I had money, and I will have money. We need more agents. Wait, plus three for the Lord's army, that's pretty damn nice. Leadership for the all enemies is also nice as well. We will work on that. It's good that we have actually defended from both the Estalians right now and the Vampire Counts. We do have decent sizable garrison that will can hold this place. Those guys will drop below 40, but if 
if Marienberg will come, then that should not be a problem. They will have fight they wanted. Actually, yeah, just leave it here for now. I kind of making this auto resolve because I want to push the campaign forward. We haven't done that much. And the stallions are thinking, well, it's not very good for us right now. Marienberg were not able to run land any armies in the vicinity, which is great. And we have a full stack of stallions, which won't help those guys. We do need obedience. And we love money. And leadership will not be that much of an issue, or I hope it won't. Either way. We will move to Caracas Garak. We can even mount an offensive if we play this right. We will have to crush the rebellion here, so that's a problem. But that's for later. No. We will crush this army because we can. There is few mortars, there is no infantry line at all. If we rush at them, it will be the end of them. We can also try to block this army. But uh, whatever we will do, see, whatever we will do, we will do this in the next episode. So around uh, turn 45, we haven't gotten anything, but we are on the path to absolutely destroy Estalia. Oh, interesting. So we will destroy Estalia because we have no other choice. They forced our hand. This is actually Tila, which is interesting because... We'll have to go through Tilia go to Estalia and we don't really want to have a war with although the Tilia is like single settlement and rank 29 so we might as well kill them why not destroy them we will do that that's actually that at least that's a plan so this is pretty much it I hope you like it if you did press like comment if you will and see my other videos in Total War Warhammer I'm doing mod reviews, DLC analysis and speculations, and, uh, well, and let's play the Total War series and other games. Thank you for watching, and see you later.